Hello everyone. I know we have all requested that I film my skincare routine, so I'm finally here and I'm going to do it. I have some dry skin, I got rosacea, big pores, and I want to look young and juicy, especially in the winter time. So now we will get into oil cleansing. As you can see, I have a lot of makeup on. Oil cleansing is really the best way to get rid of makeup and sunscreen, so I am just using the Sun The Wa Natural Mild Cleansing Oil. I really just use this to completely disintegrate every trace of makeup I have. It also penetrates through my sunscreen, so I don't have to worry about really intensely cleansing, just giving myself a really nice soft massage. I like to do this for about 60 seconds. I don't know if it's more beneficial or if I just really like how it feels, but that's really honestly what I do. Um, so now you can see I am makeup free and we are on to the second cleansing. This is going to be more of your like foam cleanser or just like a traditional cleanser. Um, I like to use stick forms because they're really easy. I just hate having cleanser all down my arms. I'm extremely messy in that regard. So I just like to rub it all over my face and then give myself a nice massage. Realistically, I am over a sink here, so forgive me. I like to massage it forward because I just feel like it increases plumpness. And then I tap a towel on my face because rubbing is never fun. And you can see that I am cleansed a little red, but that's how we get to the balancing steps. Skin softeners are my entire life, honestly. They give myself a mild exfoliation because I do get flaky. Um, and it just like gives my skin such a soft, supple texture and really allows for the other products to kind of soak themselves in. This one is crazy exfoliating, but that's what really allows my skin to be so soft for my next steps. Tapping is probably the biggest game changer in the absorption of my skincare. I definitely see more efficacy and it just feels good. Let's be real. Then I use a hydrating toner with a five ply cotton pad split in half. I just dip and put that all over my face. I try to go um, in a lot of directions so I make sure I have like every aspect of my face hydrated. And then I throw on a pad. These are by Cosrx. These are bomb. These are so good if you're lazy. And then this is really just another layer of hydration. Not really necessary, but personally I think it makes a really big difference. And now we are on to my absolute favorite part. These are little pads. These are kind of crazy. Um, they're exfoliating essence pads. So you are rubbing on your essence, which helps absorption and just makes your skin a lot more plump. I think I consider this really my like plumping ingredient every time I consider buying a new essence. This is like a multi-step situation. So I have to flip this little pad around and rub it on my face. But usually with essences, you're just going to tap in like this. I give it a little rub because it is thick and then I do little finger taps because I just feel like that's kind of a good finishing touch before I go into one of the more beneficial ingredients, the serum. So serum is super concentrated. The ingredients in your serum is really going to affect kind of the overall effect of your skincare. I hope that makes sense. I'm not a dermatologist. Yikes. For serum, I like to use the absolute lightest amount possible that can cover my whole face. And then I really start rubbing from there. This is probably the step you're going to wait the longest before you go to the next step because you really want it to soak in before you reach your final steps. And that's going to be things like moisturizers, oils, eye creams, etc. I tend to do eye cream first because I just like to give my serum as much time as possible to absorb and I can also put cream over it. My favorite thing to do with eye cream is to tap it along the sides. This is a really big forgotten part. That's where crow's feet happen. That's where plumpness really disintegrates and it's really good to pay special attention. Now to our final step. We are sealing all of that in with a cream. My only true purpose for cream is to really just seal in what I already have. So while I do appreciate beneficial ingredients, texture is the most important thing for me because I want everything to kind of just suck even more into my pores and give me the best result. And that's really the last thing I do to have wonderfully bouncy, fun, juicy skin. This is especially good in the winter. It's light but has a lot of hydration and I feel like it does wonders. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!